This is Killian and Jerome, and this is our news piece on walkthrough history. Walkthrough history was a good experience. It was fun seeing all the different and new projects that I've never thought of or heard of before. Yes, I have because um, I've enjoyed making my projects because I like art a lot. Is there a uh, yeah, because I got to learn about a lot about the project, and I uh, didn't really know what I was working on, so I got to learn a lot of new information. So the walkthrough history process, it's. The process is actually hard to like stage it and get everything organized, but once it's in motion and you know the day of, it's actually really fun. And the night of, and watching you know parents show up and, and their family, brothers and sisters that went to Madison four or five years ago to see their younger brother or sister's project. That's all pretty. It's pretty cool to see that. I am looking forward because next year we get to do different things not and we get uh, our own we get to pick our own style not picking exactly what they have for our list. You have to work very hard on this project to succeed. Um I want to do the Titanic next year. Uh, Apollo 13 because um, it has space in it. Um, I think I think most schools um, would benefit from having some sort of organized project where the community can get behind their students' work. And um, you know we do it twice a year and you know we could for at least sixth grade does it twice a year and we could do it more often but it's just a lot of work to organize and it takes a lot of extra hours and manpower so you know i recommend the schools do it but i wouldn't expect any other schools to do it because it does take a lot of time and extra effort and i did like participating in walkthrough history because it was a fun experience and fun having to meet, see my friends, things. Um, my favorite part of walkthrough history is looking at other projects. Uh, no, because it's too much work. Thanks for watching, Madison.